Um, <clears throat> I know I should probably wait uh, until the sun has gone down before I start recording so that the lighting is a little better in here, but I feel like playing now, so I guess you just gotta deal with that. Um, so yeah, last time we played, uh, Naps to Blue came back and he was like really pushy about insisting that I come over to his house. Um, and you may have noticed that I'm not holding my microphone in front of my face anymore because uh, a friend of mine graciously offered to uh, let me borrow their microphone, and it's like a good one. So if that's why I sound so beautiful right now, it well, it might also be because I'm very hungover. Um, I remember this duck. I passed this duck uh, coming from the other direction, and I wondered what, what this... This little bird wants to carry you across. Uh, yeah, but basically, uh, long story short, now I can play the game with two hands. So, so that's good. Get, get ride. Um, I'm gonna accept this bird's offer because I'd feel bad for declining. Hopefully it will offer to, to give me a ride back, but I just, I don't know, I had to see this part. Because this is very important to the overall experience of the game. Uh, I feel like I'm gaining something from this. And I didn't expect the bird to pick me up by the hair. And I can finally confirm that this bird is now a duck and not a chicken, not a baby chick. Because it's amphibious. And everything that is amphibious must be a duck. I am successfully wasting your time right now. Look, I just needed to see, I just, it was necessary, okay? I just needed to know that I could get to and from uh, the black side to the purple side at any point because of this duck. <laughs> Perfect landing. Um, so yeah, let's check some shit out. <clears throat> Uh, that looks like a scary house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to go to that one. Cause I feel like there's a friend over here that might be waiting on me first. <gasps> oh! You really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Probably cause I didn't say anything. I didn't, I didn't, uh, verbally accept or decline the invitation. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. I'm sort of hungry, yeah. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I think so. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. <laughs> oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Oh no. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, I do. Okay, follow my lead. <laughs> Flop. Here we go. You'll lie down as long... You'll lie down as long as you don't move. I don't know if that part needed to be explained. I mean, you can also lie down and be sort of moving, right? So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I can drag this out a little longer. Um, all right, I got up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Yeah, good thing I'm playing with two hands, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Hell yeah! Tell me about your mix CD. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. What's this over here? It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Did I miss the bake sale? Is the bake sale over? The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Still. That is still the case. What are, are these books? Oh, the CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it? Yeah, I want to play it. It plays a spoopy CD.
All right, I'm feeling it. But I think I'm gonna do something else now. And I will play the Spook Wave CD. You play the CD. So far, this one's winning. Does he say anything to me? Dang, that, that ambiance. It's like my whole body is being spooked. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. I will play it. It's sort of like the other one. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Ain't it a shame. Alright, well, let me try Ghoul Day music again. This one's way different. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright. Well, that guy is certainly a friend. This house is locked, however. Uh, wait, I want to explore all the areas before I get into some some comic mischief. North, Bluke Acres, East, Hutland. Huh? Tammy Village? This seems like East. Oh, where am I going now? Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Well, joke's on you. Ha, I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Oh, okay, well, let's see what he's got. A crab apple, a CT, cloudy glasses, armor. Invincible longer. I don't know quite what that means. Heals 10 HP, speed up in battle. Looks like a crab. Torn notebook. So I don't know what it means by invincible longer. I could, uh, I suppose I could find out. But I want to know about that emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahahaha? That's the Delta Rune, the emblem, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Wahaha! Great name, huh? It's as I always say: Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. <laughs> All right, tell me about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Yeah. Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it, but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. All right, so here's a new conversation piece, and it's yellow so I can spare it. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes mm, something else. Most people say it's the angle from the prophecy. All right, tell me about the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel, an angel, who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. I hope that's just not talking about me. Calling that winged circle... Calling that winged circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of des destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well... Tell me about this other fella who's been dying to see me. Undying? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and, determin and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahahaha. Well... That's really all I need to know. Yo, a box? Yeah, I want to use this box. 
Um, I can put the snowman piece in there and then pick it up somewhere else and he'll still be seeing the world, right? That's not breaking my promise. Mm, that way seems scary. Down here seems deserted and desolate. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. But I feel like there's some other things that I haven't explored yet, so I'm gonna go do that. Like, first of all, I might see this dummy. What? 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 It's a living. Knock, knock, knock. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. You don't think that's Undyne's home, do you? Or does the home belong to the dummy and he's just hanging out outside but he locked his doors for a bit? Yo, what is this? Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Buell. Well, keep on snailing away. It's a snail, for some reason. You can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Yeah, well, now that you mention it... Who that over there? I've been long overdue for a second house. Hey, this snail is counting dollar bills, y'all. Because cash rules everything around me. Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. I hope it's because I didn't kill this person. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Interesting. Tell me about the snail races. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. That sounds a lot like Undertale. But different. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay. Okay, this is- this sounds exciting. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Is over-encouraging a thing? Should I mash it as fast as I can? I'm already mashing in anticipation! <laughs> Still do it. Is it gonna surprise me at the very end? Race end. Oh, it looks like you encourage your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh, wow, they can back up really fast though. Okay, well, I appreciated that because it was funny. Um, where does this lead? Back here. Well, I don't know why, but I'm going to save my game again. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. So, I guess I'm pressing on now. And this is the part of the video where you can be like, okay, uh, I'm going to finally pay attention to some shit. Because before I got to this point, there was really nothing worthy of watching. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of, their gr seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. That's weird, because I thought humans couldn't use magic. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. I wonder how many souls they have. Is there a camera behind this uh, waterfall or whatever? What are all these flowers echoing? But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. Cursed? Is it cursed? Is it two syllables? There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Uh, I have encountered a monster. Where's my coin? 
special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Alright, it looks like I flipped the tails. So, what can I do? I can use, first of all, I can use two hands. I can already, like, immediately... I can already immediately spare, but... He Temi Flakes? That's what's happening. Timmy only wants the Timmy Flakes. No. I'm so hungry. Yeah. What? Uh, I have a feeling I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Timmy is trying to glomp you. Well, I'll show some mercy. Oh, I already read this. This is the thing that I already read, and I am wasting your time. That was my, uh, that was my impression of a specific sound effect. Yo, the light up flowers. They actually do things. No, did I, did I find a secret? I am fucking around in a way that I probably shouldn't be. Uh, you walk into Mold Small. Only one of them wants to... can be spared right now? Alright, I don't know if this fight is, um... has any consequences here. I rolled a heads, though, so I'm gonna harm them. Wait, oh, I get it. Whoa! What did that mold small turn into? And why am I not dodging these attacks? Bold big mills about in the corner. I was close to the center sometimes. Flying sounds. Yo, it explodes into little tiny pellets. Bold small waits pensively. I crushed it. I just kicked it with my kicks. Oh, what did I do there? What are those little purpley bits? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. Oh. That's kind of neat. Um. Well, I'm just walking on this uh, tiny little path. And another random encounter. Washua and Eren appear. What did I flip, guys? Oh, I flipped the tails. Not that that is necessarily a bad thing. Um, uh, okay, so... I could flex or check. I forgot what to do. Uh, I'm gonna clean Washua. No, wait, I'm gonna ask it to clean me. I thought around excitedly. Sweet, green means clean. Come on, the water's fine. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh, I'm supposed to get the green ones, aren't I? Aaron is splashing you playfully. More cleaning! You ask Washua to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Damn, I thought I was gonna catch that green one. And I think it just ended, like, right before I was about to catch one. So, I'm gonna not fail this time. I don't know if I can promise that. Ah, oh, shit, I immediately regret saying that. Okay, so I got I got at least a little bit clean. And I don't know if you know this, but I don't give a damn about my HP. Aaron is sweating bullets, literally. Okay, so I'm gonna mercy Washua. Phew, I'm sweating. Uh <clears throat> smiley face-ish? I don't know. Yo, these are bullets. It smells like a muscle farm. <laughs> okay. Uh so. I'm gonna flex myself before I wrecks myself. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest, okay. Flex more. If I remember correctly, this will take a few rounds to complete. Which is obnoxious. Aaron is ready for your next flex. He flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice! I won't lose though. 
Le all that flexing has made me swexing. I would... I should stop saying things. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Wait, bring me with you. I got 55 bucks for that. No, don't disappear on me. Well, I guess it's just me and my wits now. Or mashing buttons until I find the correct way. Good thing that little light was there. So that I could see where I was going. Mm. I splash in the water. And I have a little purple halo around me. Because it's dark and scary. Is that tall grass? What is this? Behind you. Oh, uh, I know this guy. Uh, this is, um... Oh, the character who tried to kill me. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king. King Asgore Dreamer will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. That also sounds like not a chance at redemption because I will be giving up my soul in the process. Or I'll tear it from your body. Whoa. That's the spirit. I probably said that joke already. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Dude, you got in the way at the wrong time. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. <laughs> I like this character. You got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! <laughs> that little character is in so much trouble, young man or woman. You're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Um, well, in the meantime... In the meantime... You're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Where do I go? It seems like I can flee for now. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Because you're never funny. You hear a passing conversation. Because you're never funny, mm, Dane Cook. As if people weren't done ripping on him for not being funny. I should have said something funnier is what I should have done. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. <laughs> okay, loser. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Ah. However, there is a prophecy. That was a cute conversation, and I didn't give it enough uh, of its proper respects for being so cute. The, the Angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go nuts. Oh, uh, this looks the safest. Yo! Dude! I'm glad you made it back without getting in trouble. Is that Undyne? Is that the real Undyne? I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. You can tell from my striped shirt, though, right? Undyne, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha. -ha. 
Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Well, I have a coin. Heads is yes. It was a heads. I'm going to say something real mean about his dumb, stupid face. And about his ability to interrupt people. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister said that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I put an extra ha. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. I made a friend. <gasps> what? Yo, wait, help. I tripped. Help him. Help him. It looked like Undyne backed off as soon as he saw me helping my friend enemy. My frenemy. Yo, 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 dude. Yo, 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 yo. Like Usher in that one song from like 1997. If... If you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me me first. Wow. Stomp, 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 stomp. That's right. Back off. There's two of us. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, completely unrelated, happy birthday to Ariana Grande and uh, Australian civil rights activist Emma Miller. We'll just have to be friends instead. Also, happy birthday to former Yankee and five-time World Series champion Derek Jeter. Uh, also, Michael Vick. Still don't know how I feel about that guy. We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Who are your parents? Have I met them? Later, dude. It's good that they said that because I couldn't, I didn't know. I wasn't sure that that child had parents and I kind of felt bad. What did my character just do there? How did I do that little dance? Seven. Okay, you win. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. Five today. Or rather, six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. That's so far so good. No, no, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Nyah. Is it a bird? You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. This is an excellent music theme. Alphys's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns attacking everyone in your path. That's not necessarily true what I say about about maybe 50% of them, according to, uh, to coinflipstatistics.com. Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Lesser Dog, who wanted nothing more than affection. No, I'm really sorry about Lesser Dog. Was dead because of the whims of a single human. Time's up, villain. Okay, I was I was actually pretty upset about Lesser Dog. To tell the truth, that's one of my biggest regrets about this game was killing Lesser Dog. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the all the plane you inflicted on the fallen, the plane, 
every hope, every dream you turn to dust. She's gonna send right back through her spear. What is this conspiracy? Sorry, I had the mouse on my... I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on! Step forward and let's end this. Well, there's a save point. Uh, I might save the game. Um, so I've been sitting here, uh, debating in my head and deliberating over whether I should continue my coin flip method, uh, and even if I didn't, how would I choose to approach this battle? Um, also, I was sort of beating myself up a little bit for having, uh, for letting the mouse scroll over the screen like an idiot. Um, but I think, I think I'm gonna save my game here. I think I'm gonna save my game here. Oh, I might have actually just did that. Uh, but, but I'm gonna put this upcoming battle in the next episode, which I will probably record in like 20 minutes after I get myself some chicken curry. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned and buckle up for this upcoming fight with Undine. I don't know how, uh, how I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know if, if I should fight or try to be merciful or just run. Um, but I guess we'll fucking figure it out together. So thank you so much for watching. Please uh, feel free to leave any comments you have, uh, any suggestions. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I want, this, I want this process to be involved with you guys as much as possible. Um, so, you know, like and subscribe and shit. And like, if you really want to help me out, feel free to share this video on other social media platforms. Or just, like, bring a friend over and be like, yo, watch this. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. Oh, they did the mouse thing again. <laughs>